Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective places. Welcome back yet again to another video, to another story. Duchess Mega left. They never loved her. They just treated her with a lot of racism. They made her feel uncomfortable. They made her feel like, you know what, you're not welcome there. You're not needed here. And she decided to act right. Because you know what, it's not that she's an orphan or she has nowhere to go. Or maybe she's not a citizen in a certain country. She was. And decided to leave. And ever since, uh, you know, she left. I bet she was, the last time she was in the UK, it was uh, during uh, the late Queen Elizabeth funeral, burial. That's the last time the Duchess of Sussex stepped foot. Imagine that she missed Charles' coronation. She's missed other more, you know, events. But the reason or... The reason asked why she does what she does, it's because she chooses to prioritize mental health. She chooses to prioritize her happiness. She chooses herself first before anyone else. And that's one thing every one of us should do. That's one thing almost every one of us should do. That is Megan desperate to come across as the bigger person and end royal one. I doubt if she even cares or if she even wants to know what's going on back in the UK. Especially within that particular toxified institution. I doubt if she wants to know a thing about it. Reason being, she has a lot. She is busy. She has a lot to do and deal with and has no time for, you know, her abusers. She has no time for them. That's incredible. I'm loving every single bit of how she handles things. I'm loving every single bit of, uh, you know, the person she decided to continue being. Because back in the UK, she tried so much. Always wanting to do things, but the other party don't appreciate her. Don't acknowledge that. Don't realize that or don't even appreciate her. That's awful. Why can't they accept the fact that Megan doesn't care about her abusers? It's seriously time for them to move on from the scrappy narrative why would megan want to be besties with the people who rashly attacked her kids before they were even born she doesn't care she moved on she's fine megan doesn't care about cat and the members of the royal family it's time for them to move on they just need to go get alive and just accept that they are never going to have her back the attitude of that royal family and those that, that surround them amuse me. They love to snub Harry and want people to know it. This royal family can't get attention with or without a shout out to Harry and Meghan. I see a monarchy in a death spiral who's laughing now. Snub away. Karma awaiting. This is disastrous. This is a disastrous. We all know who the desperate royals are. And it's not the ones living their best lives in California. The ones back in the UK who can't do without, you know, Harry and Meghan. And it's very much evident now that especially there's this whole fallout. There's this whole downfall awaiting. They just have to accept that, you know what, Megan is fine and that they are never going to her, her back. As much as the ring about stories to do with Duchess Megan, 
yeah she's just living her best life living the normal life just like any other person out there in california because that's one thing they so much longed for but they were never entitled to or well, back in the uk privacy because the paparazzis were all over you can imagine that's as awful somebody also said i doubt this megan is minding her own business and the press are making things up megan has moved on and so has harry they just need to see this and realize that they lost the best and of course they can never have them as much as they always want to make the public see as if Harry and Meghan have been snubbed in a way or two. It doesn't work for some of us because we know who Harry is. We know who Meghan is. And the fact that they've decided to just focus on themselves and focus on what is right. That's all that matters. Royal gossips are summer silly seasons is upon us. The only thing that can save us is the princess of Wales standing up at uh, the event that you know. No one knows. Because yesterday I saw a whole story whereby it was royalists saying no one knows anything to do with cats. Which starts next week. Last year during the summer silly season, the British media worked itself into a lother about the star success marriage is in trouble. It was all a lie. But for months now, they have been trying and failing to bring the Sussexes into the story of Princess Kat's disappearance, stroke illness. When Harry confirmed his visit to the UK in May, Wells's sources were eager to brief about their plans to snap Harry. Even though he never said anything about visiting them, then Christopher Anderson the royal expert claimed that the Prince William was literally get keeping who sees a cat and that he would never allow Harry to visit her. Once again, Harry showed zero interest. It's all part of the years long series. The Sussexes are desperate to see Willie and Kat. Well, he is the latest because it's very much evident. It's not the Sussexes desperate, but it's the left behinds desperate to have Harry and Meghan back. And I did a whole piece or a whole story speaking of the fact that Charles is in so much regret. But still can't accept his mistake. He is in so much regrets, bearing in mind he can't sit down and want to just watch all this happening. What is all this I'm talking about? Watching the monarchy sink. Watching it come to a fall out. Not even for a bet. In quote, Megan's desperate to come across as the bigger person. No, 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 no. That's not Megan. Megan already is the bigger person. Megan sat there and lied to Oprah and said that Kat is a good person. Megan has a defended Kat, even though Kat was part of the racist abuse Megan suffered. Megan tried to show everyone how Kat's whiteness was being weaponized against the Black Duchess. The problem has always been that Kat has always gleefully weaponized how white women current act against Megan. Anyway, the Sarsex are not desperate for anything and the Welsers and their supporters need to stop dragging Harry and Megan into Cousin Stone Palace's catastrophe. You all need to stop. It's very much evident that Harry and Meghan are really missed in the UK, but they just don't know how to, you know, start it out straight. They don't know how to just state it out straight. But either way, it's up to them to just realize that it's basically them wasting their time. As for Harry and Meghan, they are busy making a difference. At the moment, I bet working on something big that no one knows about. And I love the fact that their answers is always a silence. 
I don't know what you are thinking in all of this. Kindly just let me know on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.